And I'm really happy um, to tell you that Amar Afan will talk to us about the Museum of the Future. And first of all, I have a question for you. Who has ever been to Dubai? Please raise your hands. Not too many. So the rest of you, now in a couple of minutes, you can lean back and just enjoy. In Dubai, a museum was opened, the Museum of the Future, in February of this year. And to be specific, the 22nd of February 2020. And that goes back to plans from 2015. And one of the most beautiful museums it is considered as, um, with a very specific architecture. And first, before we take a look at that museum, I would like to introduce Amar Afan. He finished his engineering studies in Cambridge, and he can really be called a genius. A genius of construction and definitely a pioneer of lightweight design in architecture and construction. Unfortunately, due to travel restrictions, he's not be able to be with us today, although he definitely wanted to be. But uh, he will be there after the little movie you can now enjoy to answer your questions um, via video call. Lean back and enjoy the movie. Calligraphy is a poem by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed, the ruler of Dubai. We may not live for hundreds of years, but the product of our creativity can leave a legacy long after we are gone. The future belongs to those who can imagine it, design it and execute it. The future does not wait. The future can be designed and built today. The architect, the engineer, there are no columns, the building is supported by the facade digrids. Affand, the facade contractor, One thousand twenty four facade panels. All different. Typical size, 9 meters by 2.5 meters. The largest panel is 18 meters by 3 meters. The calligraphy is made of glass recessed into the curved facade. Affan designed, engineered, fabricated and installed the facade panels.
and the cleaning system The three-dimensional facade can only be built using composites. But composites burn. Affen modified its composites to fulfill the required fire tests. Indicative fire test carried out in Spain. Surface Ignition Test, ASTM Me 108 carried out in USA. Fire Propagation Test, NFPA 285 carried out in Dubai. Christian, open the gas. Started. Facade was subjected to gas burners from the inside as well as the outside for 30 minutes. The facade did not burn, it remained structurally intact. The outer surface was only charred. The tested specimen is exhibited at Affen. Affen milled the molds into specially developed foam that gives cohesive smooth surface. It can also withstand the high temperature of the curing oven. Elevent pre-preg layers were laid onto the mold and vacuum bag in oven at the temperature of 120 degrees for period of six hours. A total of one million square meter of pre-preg were used. The 0.8 millimeters stainless steel outer skin is made of millions of 60 millimeters hexagons so that the stiff sheet can drape over the three-dimensional surface of the panel. Affen utilized the fusion welding technique, developed by German Institute of Welding, to mechanically fix each hexagon to the composite body of the panel. Despite the welding on the inner surface, the outer surface of the 0.8 mm stainless steel was never affected. Affen employed a total quality procedure. The dimensions and workmanship of each panel were checked at every step of the fabrication process. The panel was insulated by 400 mm thick rock wool. 40 mm double laminated and double glazed. Glass panels were then placed into position. Together with 14 km liters ED lights. Final check of completed panel. the most beautiful building on earth.
What next? Sustainable composites. Timber is a natural composite. Timber is made of fibers held together in repoxy-like matrix. Timber is one of the oldest building material used by man. Architects have recently rediscovered timber as an environmentally friendly and sustainable building material. Concrete is responsible for 8% of carbon dioxide to the atmosphere worldwide. Trees absorbs carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. As of 2022, all public buildings in France must contain 50% timber, preferably locally sourced French timber. Affen, encased timber. Sustainable soft timber is encased with strong fibers, glass, carbon, etc. Affen encased timber. 1. Contains 80% sustainable soft timber, but is more than 10 times stronger than soft timber. 2. It has approximately five times the strength, weight, ratio of steel. Three, the encasement protects it against insect attack. Four, it is dimensionally stable and it does not swell. Five, it is fire tested. Encased timber is an approved building material recognized by the codes of practice. Composites are not recognized as building materials. Their usage requires special approvals. Affen has utilized the light weight of encased timber to build a modular house. A new house to replace an old house. The house was built in Dubai and assembled in France. The house was delivered in Lego-like boxes from Dubai, with all services already built in. All services like electrical wiring, air conditioning, heating and plumping are already built into the boxes. Even the swimming pool is made of encased timber. Encased timber is light and very strong. No need for columns. Villa Dubai by Affen
in Germany, one house grows sustainably every minute. Affen modular technology can make it two houses. We use less timber and factory assembly is twice as fast. The future does not wait, the future can be designed and built today. This Sheikh Mohammed. Thank you. Any questions? Yeah. Wasn't that impressive? I found my new villa. Yeah, I would like to have that. When I'm grown up, I would love to move in. So um, I think um, you might have a lot of questions now, um, since those are very new materials, and uh, I'm really happy that um, Amir Afan is now with us, um, and he's able to answer your questions. If you would like to do so, please use the microphones left and right. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> so, so it's really great. So if there aren't no, any questions at the moment, um, so I'm, of course, really curious. Now we've learned a lot about your latest projects. And uh, one question I have is um, the villa we just recently saw. Is this your private home now? Or have yes, you had to, to sell it? <laughs> I'm glad you like it very much. So I think you have to talk with my wife for that. <laughs> yeah, it's really brilliant. So um, the future is now, at least um, um, when we take a look at your brilliant buildings. And um, when the future, what will your future be? What will be your next projects uh, you're just about maybe uh, to design? Actually, we're just going a bit smaller and bigger, but I like to have this villa. I think I could con contribute a lot to sustainability by using this encased timber. And this is for everybody to use. I have a friend of mine, he is uh, an architect in Germany. I'm afraid to say in many people in Germany are still married to the idea of using concrete, concrete, concrete. Mm -hmm. And that has to change. It's a little bit like when we were about 10 years ago, we were so attached to our diesel cars and things now are changing. And I think that will happen as well. So in Germany, concrete is used, um, unfortunately, uh, although I have the feeling that already some people try to change this, also uh, considering building with much more wood. Um, but uh, concrete is still very inexpensive, and I guess this is also one of the reasons. How about the costs um, when you take those into account? It's actually cheaper. I would like to tell you the villa which we built in France is not any more expensive than any normal villa built in France. Although we had to spend the extra money transporting it all the way from Dubai to France. The cost of a house the material cost is approximately only 20%. 80% are simply, what do you call it, workmanship costs, whether it's an architect, approval, plumber, electrician, and you get it very quickly. Don't forget also the financing costs. When you add all this together, you end up with a better value. So if it's not the cost aspect, why do you think that there are not many, many more architects and construction engineers who um, um, are on the same path like you are already? I think we changed. I mean, concrete is relatively a new material. It's only about 150 years old. Timber is almost in the thousands of years old. Uh, there was a timber had a problem with the fire and still has. And we have not forgotten that. So as long as we could take care of that, I think many people will build in timber. It's more natural. And also it has to be a little bit from people's point of view. They like to do more about the environment. And uh, this is in everybody's interest. Mine, as well as everybody else who's building his own house. Yeah. So as far as I know, um, Stefan, you were one of... Uh, yeah, the um, first uh, members also of Composites United. 
Um, so if, on the one hand, we have a lot of concrete um, addicted people in Germany. On the other hand, we have Composites United. How did that help you to develop your new designs? I mean, Composite United gave me a platform. I did not know anything about Composites when I first joined Composite United. Literally, I, I'm a structural engineer by profession. Most of my work was in steel and glass. And uh, then I discovered the idea of using composites and then start developing it here. And I would like to make sustainable composites, which is, everybody talks about it, okay, concrete, because, I mean, to make fibers is not particularly the most sustainable method in the world. Epoxies are not sustainable, but at least the timber is. So maybe our buildings are not 100% sustainable, but at least 80% sustainable. It's a little bit better than before. So, are there any more questions in the audience? Yeah, please, Mr. Scheiter. Good morning, Oliver Schauer is my name from Volkswagen Group. Um, I was very impressed by, the, by this great building that you have created there in, in, in Arabia, but um, regarding timber, just one question, which kinds of timber or wood are you preferably using, and what is the main coating material that you are using to protect it? I mean, I'm using the cheapest possible timber, simply pine, which it comes out mainly from Northern Europe or Northern Hemisphere, because the timber here is a filler. It is not a structural element. What I'm coating it with or bonding it to is either glass fibers or carbon fiber, depends on the requirement. Maybe eventually I will use flax fiber, which is what comes from bamboo. It's a matter of the Wood doesn't have to be, it's the cheapest possible wood you can get hold on. Okay, but you mentioned that the, the timber has more or less uh, the same relative strength or normalized strength than, than steel that you're using in building industry, so you could use No, that is the encased timber. That is the encased timber, not the normal timber. Okay, thank you. It's the encasing which makes it strong, it's not the timber itself. Thank you. Thank you. Any more questions? Not for the moment. So I think everyone is totally impressed now and is already thinking about uh, their private homes, not only in France, but also in Germany, using less um, concrete. Thank you so much, Mr. Afan, for being with us, at least virtually. And we look very much forward maybe to seeing you in our next convention here live on stage. Thank you very much. Thank you.